What's going on with the YouTube? It's your boy 345 German in today's video, man. We're gonna be giving y'all a video on if you should steal by the Dodge Challenger RT in 2024, man. So y'all boys probably not hipped on if y'all still wanna get one of these or y'all wanna get the charger. Or if y'all should just go ahead and get the Charger Scat Pack or Challenger Scat Pack over RT, man. So we're gonna be getting y'all boys um everything I know and everything. I don't know, I learned about the car since I don't had it. I don't had it for about a year now, man. So we're gonna get y'all rundown and everything about it, man. And pretty much break it down to y'all. So this is determine if y'all wanna get the RT or the Charger RT, or like I said, if y'all wanna just jump straight ahead and go to Scat Pack or go to Hellcat instead, man. So let's go ahead and start the video off. But let me stop talking y'all off. Uh, so first what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about gas so since we're at the gas station i didn't put no gas in it just yet but let me show you all what i gotta fill it up with so uh, if y'all do not know rt's fill up with 89 y'all and as of right now 89 is four dollars and 20 cent but if you had a scat pack or a hellcat you will instantly have to go by 93 which would be five dollars and ten cent per gallon man so you got to put that in mind like when you get one of these cars too you barely gonna have gas on them y'all and what i do is I barely, I don't even fill my car up, though. The only time I'm really filling it up is when I know I'm going long distance for a long time. But I usually just put like $35 or $30 in it just to give me back and forth because all I need to do is really run to work or if I'm just doing a quick video, man. So, um, I usually fill it up that much. Let me show you how much I get, uh, how much miles per gallon I average in here just so y'all can see, like, um, how much you're going to be getting if you threw, say, you threw $40 in there. So, that's y'all can't see. Let me get inside. Y'all look at my thing. Y'all, as y'all can see, I'm averaging 20.1 miles, and that's only because I've been constantly getting on the freeway to get back and forth to work, y'all. And if y'all don't know, um, these cars are good on the freeway back and forth, y'all. I'm not going to lie. If you want to make a distant uh, drive with these cars, they do good, y'all, if you don't really uh, dog on it too much, y'all. So say you want to take a little three-hour drive, y'all, this car going to pretty much uh, get you... Pretty, you pretty much gonna make it the whole way there if you just cruise eco mode stay in your lane it all depends on how much you actually just put into the gas like i said man but um on to the tires because this i feel like that's the topic not much people talk about either oh so, for the tires y'all so since i don't have my car it's been a year i don't have to change the back set of tires at least five times so i don't ran through um i'll say 10 tires in the back because five i have to get two of them every time so i ran through 10 tires in the back so far since i had it and then the front trial i had to change my front set of tires twice since i had a trial so um that'll pretty much let y'all know like how good they run and how good they last y'all and i had it i had the car all year round so even during winter time i was driving it in the snow and i'm not gonna lie y'all if y'all just get tossed some decent tires y'all the car gonna run good in the snow as long as you stay in your lane and let people go in front of you i say let people go in front of you do their thing first and trail behind y'all just and you don't need to try to do too, don't do nothing stupid in the snow because you will lose your car but in the winter time this car was good i did some videos on it y'all can go back to my recent videos and go look at it i was actually sliding in it doing stuff like that and having fun with it because i had some decent tires to play with in it but um front tires y'all front tire wise i gotta change my front tires right now as we speak because um when i change my tires I end up getting some 265, 45, 20s, y'all. And the previous tires that I had on this was 245, 45, 20s. So with these 265, 45, 20s, y'all, me not knowing when I was at the tire shop, I told them that I wanted a little bit bigger and a little bit thicker so I could fill up this gap a little bit before I get some lower end springs. But me not actually paying attention, the shit is actually on my goddamn... Y'all, look how close this shit is to my tire, but like... When I tell y'all, the shit damn near look like it's touching my tire, y'all. Like, the shit is literally, like, right there. So, what I'm going to have to do is, German's going to take these front tires and probably swap them to the back. Um, So, I'm going to find something to do, probably. I'm going to probably do a like, slime video for y'all. But let me show y'all this side as well, man. Same thing with this side. It's pretty much all my tires is low-key eating it bald as y'all can see slowly over time but it ain't killing it just now because they got some decent threat but we're gonna get them swapped out like i said but for the back tires y'all i got 275 45 20s and these was the tires that i've been had since i got the car what well, the same size i had since i got the car and these tires as y'all can see they pretty much too conda but that's because i've been sliding on it and playing with these tires and stuff like that i don't slid on these at least like four times y'all so 
Um, yeah, man. And then this other side as well. One side gonna be less, even on the other side because I got open diff. So one side gonna spin, and one other side won't. But um, that's pretty much the rundown about tires. Um, I don't buy my tires brand new, y'all. Because if you buy your tires brand new, you will be getting charged about two hundred dollars per tire, y'all. So put that in mind. These cars don't get scammed the ripped off buying brand new tires, y'all. Go to the tire shop and ask them for pre-owned tires because as y'all can see, you get decent amount of thread. This is decent amount of thread to where I can stick my pinky in at y'all. And I got these tires for both. I got both of the tires for a total of 120 as for pre-owned, y'all. So, um, <clears throat> running out of breath and shit. But yeah, man. Um, just put that in mind, man. I'm gonna break y'all down on the other ones. Like I said, this is just stuff that I feel like people don't talk about. When they get these cars, man, and I'm gonna pretty much be the one breaking it down to y'all. Hey, y'all. So if you don't got a garage, y'all, I'm not gonna lie, it might be a high risk of you getting your car stolen. But um, what I also say is, get you some trackers. Um, I'll say get you a steering wheel lock, a car cover, and also um, yeah, man, make sure you got like some form of protection for yourself as well too. And also like a dash cam, just a little bit of extra shit. I did a video on how to prevent it from being stolen as well too. So I'm not gonna really tell y'all about that. But these cars, the rate of the rate of them they get installed, y'all, that's crazy. So um if you if you feel like you're not gonna buy one of those or you can't afford one of this stuff to protect your car, y'all, I wouldn't say get it because this car will really be gone just like this, man. Even though mine's is an RT. It, it pretty much give off scat vibes just based off the look besides the brembos if you if it had brembos and i never popped the hood most people would think it's a scat if you, if you know what i'm trying to say man so um put that in mind man the theft on these cars is crazy try to get a house with a uh, garage or a apartment running garage find something to just keep your store safely at night so that way you don't gotta wake up and see it outside missing from the original spot that you put in man but on to the next thing. We'll talk about reliability, man. So y'all probably want to know if like is these cars reliable? Is they cool, man? Um, street wise, y'all, I'm not gonna lie. When you're driving these on the street, they're not that good on gas because you making constant stops at the light, but you're driving your gas a little bit faster in cars if y'all did not know. So um taking the streets really drain the gas a lot, man. So I cruise, I keep it in street mode, y'all. When you're driving um on the street, keep it in street mode. Um, the only time I really put it on eco is when I'm taking distant drives on a freeway and stuff like and stuff like that, or if I really need to save gas. Because eco mode, um, put it in four cylinder mode instead of eight cylinders, and what that do is it uh it gives your your engine half the power than what it's supposed to be, man. So um, that pretty much start putting damage on your engine over time, wear and tear. But it's also cool if you don't do it not all the time. So don't do it as often, man. You see me? But pot potholes, stuff like that, y'all. Um, I ain't gonna say they the smoothest over potholes, y'all, because my alignment got messed up over a pothole that we had out here, man. So, um, I'd say it's about a in between for reliability, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. But other than that, y'all, oil change wise, brake change wise, um, maintenance wise, y'all, I ain't gonna lie. It's pretty much decent. I'm not gonna lie. Um, the only major problem I say I had was my my starter going out and that was during the winter time because i was in the snow and y'all know your starter get wet it'll start going out so my starter went bad because i was playing in the snow it was thick it was high enough to to reach up there as me trying to slide over it so i'm wishing the, the snow back and forth giving a play space and shit like that but other than that y'all it's a pretty decent car um so drive on the street to half and also look at mine you feel me you're gonna have one of the nicest looking aggressive cars out of the Dodge family, you feel me? The Chargers and the Challengers. Then I said the, uh, the Grand Cherokee Trackhawks, you feel me? About the speed, y'all. So y'all probably like germ. All right, so it's the RT fast, man. So if y'all do not know, yes, the Challenger RT is fast. The Charger RTs are fast, y'all. They faster than your average car. You gonna win beating every car in this lot right now. Even though these are not no fast cars, but just knowing that you're gonna beat every single car without even trying your hardest. Um, these cars got 160 on a dash, 
375 horsepower and 390 pounds of torque stock y'all and they do not come on srt pages but i added srt pages in mine y'all so due to the fact that i did that i feel like mine's is a little bit more uh responsive when i come to the throttle and because i got custom sport mode and track mode y'all so it's pretty much like a little flash tune to the uh, pcm pretty much um and regular rts don't come with that besides when you get the new years i believe above 2019 and that's when they start coming with the srt modes but mazda is a 16 so it does not have it y'all so keep that in mind if you don't get anything above a 2019 uh rt y'all you will not get the srt pages on them just because they leave that trim out from the rts but not trim but they leave that out from the rts and they really mainly put it on scat packs and hellcats y'all so just keep that in mind, man. They only come with like a sport mode switch and a normal switch. If y'all know what I'm talking about, it's like two little paddles that look like a key fob. It's going to say sport mode and then one going to say original or like street mode or y'all know what I'm trying to say about the police. Uh, so I never got um any tickets for my car so far so good. Like I said, I had it for a year. Um, Only because, like I said, John, I'm not really doing too much in my car besides when I chose to do a video, man. And I do a video probably... I say like three or four times out the week, but I be knowing where to drive to where I know where the police had at, where I know the timing zone, where they go to certain spots, stuff like that, man. So, um, they would say something about the tent, but me, y'all, I feel like I haven't got anything said to me about my tent, even though I got 15 on the sides and 20 on the windshield, but due to the fact that I've never got my back tinted, y'all. I feel like this might be the only reason I'm getting saved from um, me getting pulled over for them stopping me about my tent. Y'all, because everybody else I know had got questioned and stopped and had to tick off the tent or either pay for a tent ticket on a car besides me, y'all. So, um, I'll say if y'all want to get tent, I'll say probably do it the way I did. i say like get light tent in the back, back window, do the darkest all the way around or probably do windshield only. You know what I'm trying to say, man. But police, like I said, man, as long as y'all doing what y'all supposed to, I know y'all gonna have fun in it because it's a fast car, of course. That's what it's meant for. But as long as y'all doing what y'all supposed to when they come around, man, like just paying attention, making sure y'all got radar detectors, or y'all just like check normal areas where y'all think police are hide at. You be cool, man. You feel me? Um. Uh. Other than that, man, I see. Like I said, the police will be cool. You get pulled over. And most of the time, when you get pulled over in these cars, y'all, police is okay with y'all. They don't really do no crazy stops um, and, and really be on nothing aggressive, y'all. As long as you roll the windows down, talk to them, have your ID, license out, y'all know, etc. I ain't got to break it down to y'all, but y'all know what I'm trying to say. Just, if you cooperate, you'll be good, man. Uh, you'll be good working with them. And they're going to let you go just like that, man. So, um, that's pretty much it. I ain't going to keep the video long because i'm probably just blapping now but um we're gonna end the video off right here man i hope y'all boys enjoy it like i said this is the 2016 dodge challenger rt plus if i did not tell y'all before but y'all do know now but yeah man we're gonna end the video off right here man i hope y'all boys enjoy it make sure y'all like comment share and subscribe and we're gonna end the video off right here man peace Look at my racks, solid. I see the grass get long. Snakes, I'm gon' mow it. I'm gon' blow like brown. Racks on me, I'm sorry. Talk here, top of the morning. I'm in the car, got motion. Baby,